Hello, this is my Hackaday semi-finalist video for my benchtop power supply, which you can see here. I'm not going to go into the specs of it because you see that in the logs and in the previous video. Um, what I'm going to be showing you today is uh, how I'm currently using it on another project, which is uh, my revision 2 of the Universal Controller. So what I'm doing here, I am simulating the battery. Uh, I'm using two, two AAA batteries for the controller and I'm showing how the, the voltage which is going through this uh, boost regulator here can stay constant regardless of the input voltage. So as I as I turn the voltage down here down to 2.6 volts right now on the input, so this is the equivalent of the battery. You can still see that the regulator is still throwing out a constant 3.2, and we still have the uh, LCD working and the joysticks on the PS2 controller and all that sort of thing. We're going to keep on going down here. down to 2 volts now still is constant 1 1.7, 1 1.6, 1.43 1.2 see we're now down to essentially one battery And it's still, still is fine. We're just, just barely right on the edge here. We're down to 0.89 volts, and uh, you can see we're now just barely getting to the the limits of what the boost regulator can handle. But this is just one of the, the things that this power supply can, can uh, show you. Um, as far as what works, pretty much everything is working right now. We have all four channels with current limiting, three positive, one negative, uh, USB connection so you can control it with the computer and or calibrate it. Um, there's some things I'd probably like to do for the next revision. Um, right now I'm relying on a dual supply so that you can supply the op amps for uh, with, with a negative voltage so you can get a full swing from positive to negative rail. I have actually since found a circuit which will basically let you do that same thing with a couple of diodes and some capacitors. So I'd probably want to do that for the next time so you don't have to run it off of a dual a dual supply. That would also lead to a easier isolation if you wanted to, to isolate your power supplies. Um, other than that, it's it's really I'm finding this very useful. I've, I've used it all the time for basically every project I'm working on. So I can personally I can recommend it for any hacker's uh, workbench if they don't already have a supply. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, be sure to uh, follow the project log for more details. Thanks. Have a good day.